Hi there. This is a quick response or, or basically tweak to a method that uh, Daniel Christian showed in one of his recent videos. I'll put a link to that in the description. Uh, but basically it's in Power Apps if you want to limit the number of items selected in a gallery. So here I have a gallery of uh, showing eight items. If I want to limit the number of items selected, uh, right now I've got limit set to three. Um, so basically I can select one, two, three, and once I select three, all of the other check boxes are disabled. If I uncheck one of these, then I can check another one, and then the rest will be disabled. Uh, so if you watched his video, uh, then you already know kind of the magic behind this, and I'm giving him complete credit for coming up with the idea for this. Um, I just wanted to show uh, how to extend it a little bit, how to make it more configurable, uh, because sort of the way he showed to limit to multiple checkboxes uh, was to add a bunch of OR statements. Um, and I got around that by, rather than having all of those OR statements in the uh, display mode property for the checkbox, I simply compared the values of the number selected or item selected so label number checked which is this field here and the text for that is where is that is basically his count rows filter so the when the filter um, when the number of items where the uh, this basically just counts the number of items in the gallery where the checkbox is checked. Um, and then this is a simple text input box, uh, which I've limited to the number format. So basically this would allow you to plop this number input or text input with a number format uh, and this number checked field onto a configuration page in your app or something like that and reference them in the galleries and basically rather than all of those um, multiple or statements simply say if this is checked so if the self value is true or if the number checked text the value of that item selected field is less than the value of the limit. So basically if this number is less than that number then this can be checked. If it's not, uh, so once that number is equal to that number this, you know, the any further uh, checkboxes will be disabled. So again just to show it in process I check one, I'm fine, check two, fine, check a third, the rest are disabled. And if I want to change that limit later, I don't have to change any formulas. All I need to do is change this text input value. And I'm providing it as a text input value, but you could simply say, you know, put a, a hard code and number into here. But I like things to be configurable because down the road, some user, some client will say, we'd really like to be able to adjust that value or adjust that limit. So more often than not, I try to build in that capability, that configurability from the get-go. So if I were to jump set this to one, um, then once I select one, it's blank. Or if I set it to zero, then they're all empty. If I set it to six, then I can select up to six. Uh, so there you go. Just wanted to show a, a little bit of a of a tweak. Uh, again, Daniel, as he always does, came up with a great video and a great topic to show how to do that, how to set that display mode for the checkbox uh, input. Uh, I just took it to, you know, just made a little bit of a tweak to it to make it more configurable, more um, adaptable uh, because I more than anything I hate <laughs> playing around with these formulas to try and get them right uh, so if I can abstract them a little bit and make it easier to adjust things later 
uh, rather than having a you know, having a simple formula like just comparing two values versus adding in a bunch of or statements then that's the way I prefer to do it. Alright, thanks and have a great day.